So I'd like to thank the 34,000 plus people who viewed my last bike computer programming video. But if you look at the comments on there, I never actually got that thing to work. The mechanism used for the circumference of the wheel never really worked out correctly. So I don't even have the meter. I think I destroyed that. But today, I'm going to review something a little bit more sensible. You guys know how I like my GPS. So in my research of the product, I did find out that this has been out for a couple of years. And I don't know if I've been living under a rock, but I had never heard of it. Within the box, they have everything for you to look cool in front of your mom and her friends. They give you your upteenth thousand USB cable that you'll never use. Two different size straps to strap it down to your steering column. And a mount with a curvature in it that should help in stabilizing itself to your handlebars. And then obviously the mini GPS unit. Now, of course, this is Milan's version of a mini GPS unit, but I'm sure there are many out there now that can compete with this one. On the left side of the unit, you're going to find the power button, and on the right side, something they call the smart button. And then flipping the unit over, you will find your setup button. So the first thing I want to do is power the unit on. I'm going to hold the power button in for two seconds. Now, mine looks like this because it's already been set up, but to turn the backlight on, we're going to hit both buttons at the same time. And now I'm going to restore my factory default settings by hitting the smart button and the setting button at the same time. Now this is what the unit will look like when you first get it. And here they want you to enter your correct time zone. Now the ch chart for the time zone is misleading because they say negative 500 is for the eastern time zone. But here in Michigan I found negative 400 is the one that I'm supposed to use. But to cycle through, I'm gonna go ahead and hit my power button on the left. And that is how you're gonna choose your correct time zone. Again, there is a chart in the manual, but it did not help me. So you might have to actually navigate and find your own. So after choosing negative four o'clock, to input that choice, I'm gonna hit the smart button. And this is just asking if you want your sound off or on. If I want it off, I'll hit the left. But I'm going to go ahead and keep the sound on. Now we'll hit our smart button again. And here it's asking if you want miles per hour or kilometers. Mine is set to miles per hour. But again, you'd use the left button if you needed to change it. At the bottom here, you'll see the odometer. And you just cycle through that if you're starting from scratch. And once you cycle through all that, it should take you to your beginning screen. At the bottom, you'll see the time and the miles per hour. Now, it takes a minute for the unit to find the GPS satellites, but that green indicator will stay on for the first 30 seconds and then go off when you are connected. The green light just means that the battery is fully charged. If it's orange, you're looking at about 30 to 60% charge, and if it's red, you need to go ahead and charge it. So now all we have to do is strap it on the bike and see if it works. All right, folks. So yesterday we had a big problem with static. I am re-recording the ride, so I kind of know how it already went. We have our mini GPS, and we're going against DigiHUD Pro over here. And we're going to see if they link up. Because we definitely trust DigiHUD Pro, but we've been having a problem with battery life especially running music. So I'd like to switch to this if it works out as well. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see, they are pretty much on point. Let me get in the shade. Now yesterday I did have a problem besides the static. I did have a problem. So the first time I stopped with the GPS unit, it did take about four to five seconds for it to zero out. So we're gonna test that right now by coming to a complete stop. And we're stopped. And that time it beat DigiHub Pro. So, the long and short of this folks is, I really like this thing. 
and again it gives me the conveniency of not having to wear down my battery on my phone so I'm gonna get out of here guys I want everybody to have a great day enjoy this beautiful weather and you know I'll see y'all on the next one peace y'all